day 25 of our road trip, we spent the day in Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge, located in India Homa, Oklahoma, which is about an hour and a half southwest of Oklahoma City. This 60,000 acre park protects the Wichita Mountains, prairies, lakes, and wildlife. Originally established in 1901 as a forest reserve, President Three Theodore Roosevelt redesignated it in 1905 as a forest and game preserve, saying, and I'm quoting him, for the protection of game, animals, and birds, and shall be recognized as a breeding place thereof. This park has free admission, and with that, there's so much to do in here. You can hunt, there's over 15 miles of designated trails, you can boat, you can climb mountains, view wildlife, visit the Holy Land. We'll get back to that in a minute. First, we walked a 7 tenth of a mile elk trail, which takes you up to get some beautiful views of the Wichita Mountains. Then we hopped from the Elk Trail over to the Bison Trail, which took us down to French Lake. And then that trail just took us back to the parking lot where we originally came from. And then right on the main road, there is a prairie dog town where you can view lots of prairie dogs. This really is a refuge for animals. There are so many opportunities to view wildlife in this park. Over here by Lost Lake, we saw all these geese. Next, we visited the Ferguson House. This house was built in 1927, and it's on the National Registry of Historic Places. This is called Cannonball Architecture. It's where they use local pink granite cobblestones, and they use these in places where wood is scarce, but the pink granite cobblestones are bountiful, and it's really a beautiful sight to see. Lake Jed Johnson was dammed back in 1940. They dammed the Blue Beaver Creek, and this is just one of many opportunities to put a boat in or a canoe in the water and go fishing. The Holy City of the Wichita's is the site of the longest running Easter pageant in America. Reverend Anthony Mark Wallach first brought his Sunday school class here to teach them about the birth, life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. A year later, with a cast of five and viewers of about 150, it has now grown to a cast of 800 and at their most viewing they've ever had was 225,000 people in attendance. 
There's a few buildings here where you can learn about the history of the play, but then there's also a few older structures like the chapel, which was built in 1936. It was modeled after America's oldest church in Alexandria, Virginia, where George Washington used to worship. They also have buildings like the Lord's Supper building, where he had his last supper, the Garden of Gethsemane, the Temple Court, Pilate's Judgment Hall, Herod's Court, the Calvary Mount, the Tomb. It's just a really beautiful, neat area to walk around and to see the old construction of what it was like in the Holy City. The last thing we did in the park that day was drive up Mount Scott. Mount Scott is a mountain that's about 2,400 feet in the air and the paved road takes you to the top where you get beautiful views of the Wichita Mountains and the surrounding low-lying areas. Thank you so much for watching. On our next video, we will be in the Chickasaw National Recreation Area in Oklahoma. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Follow us along on our adventures. And until next time, adventures are out there. Are you? Have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.